A hush descends. A voice thick with conviction resonates through the silence. It's none other than Dr. Bionic Panda, a distinguished figure in the world of academia. Dr. Panda is a towering intellect, a veritable titan in his field. His vast knowledge and insight, honed by years of rigorous study and intense intellectual battles, have earned him a reputation that precedes him. But this isn't a lecture on quantum mechanics or a discourse on postmodern literature. No, today, Dr. Panda is here to discuss something that stirs his passion like nothing else. Liberal ideology. Dr. Panda's voice rises, brimming with fervor. Liberal ideology, he exclaims. A blemish on the canvas of world history. A misguided attempt at utopian society that has left more scars than it has healed. His tone is not one of condescension, but of heartfelt disappointment. Of a scholar who has seen the world, studied its intricacies and found it wanting. Liberal ideology, he continues. Champions individual liberties, yes. But at what cost? At the cost of social cohesion, of shared values, of the collective good. His words echo through the room, a stark reminder of the dichotomy between individual freedoms and societal obligations. He pauses a momentary respite, a chance for his words to sink in. Then with a chortle, he says, it's like goggle slop, my favorite food. He offers no explanation, no context, just a seemingly random tidbit that somehow fits perfectly into the narrative. His voice grows louder, his words more passionate, Liberal ideology, he insists, prioritizes the rights of the individual over the needs of the many. It's a system that encourages division, breeds discontent, and undermines the very foundation of society. He paints a picture of a world divided, of a society fragmented by the very ideology that claims to unite it. But, he proclaims, it doesn't have to be this way. We can choose a different path, a path that prioritizes community, unity, and shared values. A path that acknowledges individual rights, but doesn't let them supersede the collective good. His words ring out, a clarion call to action, a plea for change. And then, just as suddenly as he started, he stops. His voice softens, the fervor in his eyes dims, replaced by a gentle warmth. Toodaloo, he says, a fond farewell, a promise to return. I wish you all the best. He adds, his voice carrying the weight of his sincerity. And with that, he's gone, leaving behind a room full of people, their minds buzzing with thoughts, their hearts filled with a newfound understanding of the world. Voice over. As the echoes of Dr. Panda's farewell fade, we delve into his political leanings and media preferences. Dr. Panda, a far-right individual, places his unwavering trust in Fox News. He believes it to be the only reliable source of information, a stronghold against the tide of fake news. Every day without fail, he tunes into the network, absorbing the latest updates, his eyes glued to the screen, his ears tuned to the commentator's words. He holds a profound admiration for the network's conservative commentators, their words resonating with his own beliefs. For Dr. Panda, Fox News is more than just a news channel. It's a beacon of truth in a world often filled with misinformation.